Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 25th KBA District 8 All District Chorus. This event uh, was conceived in the mind of local choral directors 20, actually 26 years ago. We had to cancel one year uh, because of snow. And uh, one of the gentlemen that uh, uh, was responsible for that is one of our accompanists uh, tonight, Mr. Mike Campbell. And we'll be recognizing him uh, when he plays for the, our senior high group. But this is a great event. It has evolved from uh, taking uh, kids to the campus of Kentucky Christian University, uh, or actually it was Kentucky Christian College uh, before it came to the university. And uh, three years ago, we decided to expand to move this event to the lovely Paramount Arts Center and it has just been a tremendous uh, move on our part and we've had a tremendous time uh, with these children uh, today as we get ready to perform for you tonight. The fact that you are here this evening shows your support for the arts in our schools. It is extremely important that our children are given not just exposure to artistic forms, whether it be music, whether it be theater, dance, or visual art, but the children are actually given the opportunity to participate and to create art. And that is exactly what these children have done today. They have created some beautiful, beautiful music under the direction of highly skilled educators and to present a concert here for you tonight that I know that you are going to thoroughly enjoy. My name is Tom Stevens. I'm the choral director at Grace Worthington High School. I'm also the uh, district chair for KMEA District 8. And as I said, I'd like to welcome you folks here tonight. We well, would like to emphasize, please do not take any flash photography uh, while our kids are performing as it can be distracting to them and their conductors. Please keep your cell phones silent uh, as well. And so we appreciate that. Before we begin with our first group tonight, I always like to take the opportunity uh, to recognize all of our local schools and our local teachers uh, this evening to uh, give them the recognition that they deserve. So many times our, our music teachers take, kind of take a back seat to, uh, to the coaches and, and English teachers and math teachers and we kind of uh, don't get really a lot of the credit that we deserve. And so tonight I'd like to give a little credit uh, to our local call directors here in District Day uh, by recognizing each one of them. And I'd like to ask for them if they would to uh, uh, to, to stand, I know some of them are stationed up in the balcony. I don't want to have them walk all the way down here uh, tonight, but I do want to recognize each of our schools and uh, each of our directors this evening. Ashland Paul Blazer High School and the direction of Ms. Karen Hopkins. <laughs> Boyd County High School under the direction of Mr. Aaron Bowling. Greenham County High School under the direction of Ms. Andrew, Andrea Daniels. <laughs> Mason County High School under the direction of Charlie Hunter and CJ <laughs> And my old alma mater. McHale Middle School, under the direction of Mr. Levi Dalton. <laughs> Montgomery County High School, under the direction of Mr. Ashley Tyree. <laughs> Raceland Worthington High School, under the direction of Tom Stevens. County Middle School and High School under the direction of Ms. Amanda Wells. <laughs> Ray
Russell High School under the direction of Mrs. Teresa Russell and Ashley Dalton. St. Patrick's School in Maysville under the direction of Mrs. Betsy Hall. And last but definitely not least, Workland Middle School under the direction of Kathy Saltzman. But also like to, to give a special thanks to uh, the two uh, churches that provided our rehearsal facilities. They are so gracious and uh, just uh, a tremendous groups of people to work with. And I'd like to recognize uh, uh, just right across the street are the folks from Calvary Episcopal Church. Also, National First United Methodist Church and the Aspire Conservatory as well for hosting us today. And also special thanks to, to our friends here at the Paramount Park Center uh, and the technical crew that works here and all of their volunteers at the Paramount Park Center. Give it up for the day of the We're ready to introduce our, our first group, and uh, by doing that, we'll introduce uh, the accompanist for our first group. It's uh, Mr. Larry Crawford. Mr. Larry Crawford is uh, as the husband of our guest conductor, Ellen Crawford. Larry is an outstanding uh, pianist, outstanding uh, music educator as well. Teaches at West Jessamine uh, High School and. Uh, uh, is also uh, a minister, uh, minister of music, Grace uh, Baptist Church in Lexington, uh, Kentucky. Let's give it up for Mr. Larry Crawford. <laughs> Mrs. Ethel Crawford received her bachelor's degree in music education at Shorter College in Rome, Georgia, and her master's degree from Georgetown College in Georgetown, Kentucky. Ellen Crawford began her teaching career in Henderson, Kentucky, teaching elementary school music. She taught at Jessamine County Middle School for 10 years before moving on to Jessamine County High School in 1995. While at the middle school, Ms. Crawford was chosen to be the Jessamine County Middle School Teacher of the Year and selected Kentucky Middle School Music Teacher of the Year by Kentucky Music Educators. Her middle school choirs, advanced girls choirs, high school choirs performed for the KMEA conference, and her high school choir was also selected to perform for the Southern Division of the MNC conference. On numerous occasions, Mrs. Crawford's choirs have won competitions at the Kings Island Music Festival. They've also placed first in the Smoky Mountain Music Festival, Six Flags Music Festival in Atlanta, and the Heritage Music Festival in St. Louis in Orlando. Choirs under her direction. And Mrs. Crawford has consistently received distinguished ratings, both the KMEA Assessment and Kentucky State Choral Festivals. Mrs. Crawford conducted the All-American Youth Chorus in Carnegie Hall in New York City and was the guest conductor for the Kentucky's first elementary All-State Chorus. She has conducted Kentucky Junior High All-State Choir on several occasions, is in demand as a guest clinician and adjudicator throughout the southern United States. She has served as the repertoire and standards chair for the Junior High Choirs in Kentucky and for the Southern Division of American Choral Directors Association. Mrs. Crawford is currently the Minister of Music at Grace Baptist Church in Lexington, loving her retirement and spending time with her five grandchildren. Let us welcome to the stage this evening, Mrs. Ellen Crawford.
under the sun. I will touch a hundred flowers and not pick one. I will look at the cliffs and clouds with quiet eyes, watch the wind bow down the grass and the grass rise. And when the lights begin to show up from the town, I will mark which must be mine and then start down.
opportunity to work with your children uh, this weekend. It was wonderful. I appreciate Tom Stevens inviting Larry and myself to attend. And I've done this many years. We can't even remember the first one, but it was years ago. I think this is the best behaved and well prepared group I've ever worked with in this district. So thank you, parents. Thank you, teachers, especially. Thank you, young people. Keep singing.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another round of applause to our junior high uh, district eight for us. It's amazing that today we have 187 senior high students from 11 different schools that are here today. Amazing. We had 100, 109 junior high seniors tonight. Amazing as well. It says a lot for our communities and our programs that we, we should always, always be patrons of the arts, especially music, I think, because music is near and dear to us in this region. And tonight here, in our 2016 Senior High Hall District 8 course, I'd like to introduce to you our accompanist, who is a great friend of mine of many years, was a former teacher of mine in Greenham County back in the 1970s and 1980s. And I also had the opportunity of student teaching with this gentleman uh, at Fairview High School when I was doing my undergrad work at Morehead State University. He is a tremendous musician, a tremendous person, and just a tremendous friend of District 8. As I said in the introdu introduction, we owe this festival to this man and others that were teaching back in the early 1990s and put their heads together to say, let's have a district choral festival that would be uh, a great experience for our young people. Uh, and like I said, he's a great friend of mine. He is one of the most joyful people to be around. <laughs> And I'd like to introduce our accompanist tonight for our 25th All District Chorus here in District Day, Mr. Michael Campbell. conductor for our All District Day Chorus, Senior High Chorus tonight, is also a very, very good friend of mine, tremendous friend, tremendous person, tremendous musician. We uh, went to Moorhead together, met, actually while we were both playing in, uh, in jazz band at Moorhead State University. Uh, his wife was a friend of mine as well. And uh, we grew to know each other and love each other. And he has been a great friend and colleague uh, to me for, uh, for more than 30 years. A tremendous educator. And I'm not going to read his bio because I know enough about this guy to really, really uh, tell, tell you that he is one class act, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. He has had numerous distinguished rated choirs, a choral program that is one of the top in the entire state of Kentucky, and I would even venture to say in the eastern part of the United States. He has just done a tremendous job at Montgomery County uh, and uh, continues to do a tremendous job as uh, the choral director there. In 2015, he was awarded the Kentucky Music Educators Association High School Teacher of the Year, which is a high and very competitive honor. Yes. He has uh, influenced many, many tremendous musicians that have come through his program at Montgomery County High School and he continues to touch lives with his knowledge and love of music. I want to introduce to you my great friend, my pal, my colleague, and I love him dearly too, Mr. Ashley Tyree.
Good evening. Just a quick program note. Uh, our first selection was How Excellent Thy Name. And then the next thing on the program is The Kingdom. And it's in order, except the very first listing in your program is The Awakening. The Awakening. That will be last. So, without further ado, The Kingdom.
trombone player myself, one of the toughest things to do is to switch from trumpet to French horn, and this young man can switch from trumpet to French horn to alto sax to tenor sax to about anything that makes an instrument. Uh, Mr. Campbell and I and his mother were deciding that perhaps maybe uh, the next instrument he might want to try picking up is the chainsaw. Um, <laughs> Isaac Stevens, a senior at Russell High. A young man who was a fine singer who was singing with us in all district courts, but also uh, just finished up his uh, time at the KBA All-State Orchestra as uh, one of their top cellos in the symphonic orchestra. And uh, he is currently a junior at Montgomery County High School. He has a very, very bright future ahead of him, Roman Wood.
now my pleasure to introduce some more fine young musicians from Raceland High School, Ms. Shelby Preston. Also a ninth grader from Mason County High School, Maddie Michaelfresh. And from Mason County High School, a senior, Brittany Lee.
Wow, I can't tell you. I've had so much fun today and meeting your kids and these students. First, let me say a big thank you to Mr. Tom Stevens. Uh, he really does so much for our colleagues. And here in this part of Kentucky, you know, I, I've been blessed to have so many friends and know so many great musicians from this area. It would take all evening to list them, but you were very, very blessed to have so many great musicians of so many different styles. And part of that reason is the history of amazing and excellent school music programs with some legendary choir directors, band directors. You are very blessed. Let's give a hand to these great teachers. I've been privileged to work with many all district choirs and, and gatherings of the finest musicians in the area. But one of the things that strikes me about today is the teachers have prepared these students better than almost any group that I've ever stood in front of for one of these occasions. So thank you, teachers. Thank you, students. <laughs> Music is powerful. And I tell these, uh, my students and, and these students here, that it gives teenagers the opportunity to create something that very rarely happens in their world. They get to be listened to. Yes. And one of the things we worked on is how to hold an audience and, all, and how also to give ourselves that privilege here is why we have music. In my opinion. It's real simple. You can go to the finest beach in the world. You can sit there and it'll look like one of those TV commercials. There's beach balls and bikinis and all kinds of wonderful things. And yet your problems are still back in Kentucky and they can creep into your mind at any time. But yet you can be sitting in a hot and sweaty little choir room or on a stage with hot lights on you. You take a breath and you sing and your brain can't do anything else. It is the only true escape for your mind. It's the best time for you to recharge yourself. It may not solve your problems, but then you have the energy to come out and solve those. Listening to it does that to a degree. Performing it does. I can speak for hours, but I'll just say this. Do everything you can to keep music in our schools. Because kids like this would not be the same. students, thank you for being here this evening. Our last piece speaks to exactly what I just said. It's called The Awakening. When Joseph Martin wrote this piece, he did so to honor one of his music teachers. He grew up in an inner city, and unfortunately his music teacher was actually assaulted and died in his music room. For years, Joseph Martin was on a downhill slide until he thought of what that teacher had done for him and how he had sacrificed. He wrote this piece. Since then, Joseph Martin is one of the biggest composers in contemporary choral music. So, we hope you enjoy The Awakening. I have certainly enjoyed getting to work with your students. Keep on doing what you're doing. Encourage them. Encourage others to join them in school because this is where the good kids are. Are they not? Yeah. Give them another hand.
folks, you've been a great audience tonight, and we'll look forward to about this time again next year. And uh, thank you, God bless, and have a safe trip home. Kids, you've been wonderful today. Thank you very much. Good night.